All right, three, two, one, go. Simon is so cool. What's up, everybody? Simon here. Welcome back to another video. Where today, this my gaming mouse I've had for my gaming mouse I've had for two years, I believe. This mouse finally decided to die on me. It was a stupid cheap mouse. So I'm not really too sad because it's been having problems for a while. Quite a while. <laughs> but huge news for our band at our school, we qualified for states and that is huge. Everybody in our school was cheering the band on because we were outside practicing. So for states tomorrow, Saturday, we haven't qualified in six years, which is very sad actually, but we did, it was huge, and yeah. So today I'm gonna to be taking apart my mouse to show you guys what is inside of it because I've seen it. Just wanted to share it and I figured make a video. All right, um, screwdriver, forgot that, I'll be right back. Okay, I need to take off these little pads. One down, screw hole revealed. Peel into that sticker, there we go. The one thing I did realize is on this mouse, the back can come off. What I did realize is on this, all right, if you look right here, these plastic things, tab things, they used to have hooks because it hooked around. But after taking this off once, it broke both of them. We got all the pads off and now I'm gonna take a screwdriver and just unscrew it, you know? Just like this. Boom. Now we do that three more times. Perfect. We lift. And there's a little cable right here connecting to the DPI button up here, right here. Uh, that's gonna have to be disconnected, so we're just gonna we're just gonna pull that out of the motherboard. Now we have the top here, DPI with the We got the DPI adjuster and the two sniper keys on the inside here right and left mouse pad button things okay this is what the inside of a mouse looks like gaming mouse anyway because leds obviously okay you got some weights here adding some weight to the mouse and these come with a foam pad right in the middle of them nothing too special just add some weight to the mouse now these little hook things is, that's actually what was on the uh back of the mouse if you push back on them, you can lift the motherboard up, which is what we're gonna do. There we go, okay. We actually need to unscrew this, that little thing right here. We need to unscrew that to get the scroll wheel out to be able to actually get the motherboard out. All right, there you go, little screw. Now we can lift that up and out, carefully not damaging anything. So basically we have the thing here. I believe now we can wiggle this out carefully. All right, there we go. All right, so this is the little magnifier piece that you see at the bottom of a mouse that blinds you with the red light, you know? The wire that's actually like go through that can pop out right here and the entire thing can come out. So now you can actually save these mouse buttons here. This one is shot. That's wide shot. We can take out, after taking out that motherboard thing, this, this is what I'm talking about. Thing. We can slide the scroller wheel out, boom. Carefully, not pulling it away from the board, and I am quickly stabbing myself. That doesn't feel good. Okay, now that we got this out, we can set this off to the side. And we are left with this the motherboard, the brands of the operation, the LEDs, the right and the left MB, and the right one's having problems, and the sniper key button's right here. Very pretty. Now, let's put it together. So what I did first was take this out, so we're just gonna put that in. Now what we need to do is grab the base. This little reflective piece, which is where the red dot comes out of, and we need to place it right in here where the square is, you know? We're gonna take this scroll wheel, and we need this flat side facing towards where it's being put in. Put that cable, the cable that connects to the 
computer. Actually put that in there first, otherwise it's just in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and rest this in here. Just like that. Boom. Now we can press everything in. Now we're gonna take we're gonna take this screw that we took out earlier and we're gonna screw that back in. And there's two little pegs on this. Two little white pegs. So it can be situated in the correct formation. Now we're gonna place these magnets right back in its slots, adding weight to the mouse. We need to take this little rubber block on the end of the power cord and shove that back in its hole. Now we need to top the actual shell with the DPI connector. We're gonna take that connector and we're gonna plug it back in right next to the right MB and left MB sniper keys. We're gonna put that right back in there and now Say goodbye to the internals of this mouse. Bye bye. Now we need to screw everything in, but everything is back to working other than this. Yep. <laughs> now we're gonna flip it over and throw these screws right back in their holes. Just like this. and screw them in. Okay. okay guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I sort of did. It was just a quick video I need to get out before Sunday. I need to edit this video tonight because tomorrow we have states. Good luck band. Okay, so I definitely didn't put out a quality video today, but it was just a quick video and it was somewhat interesting. I mean, I enjoyed it. I liked saying what was inside of it. I don't know about you, but if you did, comment down below if you did or not. But I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Links to Nicholas' channel, the Bro From's channel, Colson's channel. Links to everything you can find if you want. You can find our Bro From's channel, Parkour channel, PKFR. Um, those are all in the description down below. If you want to check out Colson's channel, that's also in the description down below. He puts out content, uh, sometimes, not very much. You should like put out some more content, Colson. Like actually, though, it's pretty good. <laughs> Peace out. By the way, there will be an unboxing video of my actual new mouse. You know, cause that that'd be pretty cool. Okay, bye.